whatever lifestyle you think that you're in or whatever just know that god loves you and is willing to hear you and work with you throughout anything and um pray it'll give you peace it'll give you a little bit of a different feeling that you might not be used to if your situation is anything like mine um now once you pray you do have the god gave you a sound mind so you can make decisions and things like that you want to spend a lot of time with yourself and just in your thought it's okay to kind of stand still like you've already transitioned um one way and now you're feeling a little like whatever so you're at that point it doesn't matter if you are stuck there for a little bit don't further your situation but you don't have to try to make that change right then and there like give yourself time realize that everything is a process so you can start mentally detransitioning before you physically do take your time a lot of the problems and reasons why we got into the situation that we got into is from jumping the kick gun like i never thought about stuff i never gave myself no time it was like oh i want to do this oh this is how it's supposed to be done oh i'm making these moves into it and i jumped into so many different surgeries so many different things that i just went head in on um, to be who I wanted to be at that time now to have regrets all over again So I figure like in this way in my de in the case of detransitioning Take everything slow so that it's not the same kind of rush 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 factor like you did maybe in your first transition You know what I'm saying? So you have to take that time to stay with yourself and you it may seem like you're away from people but you don't want the influence of the people that still want you to stay in your transition or the influence of people who want you to go back you know what i'm saying like say for instance your friends and the other transgender friends you have and gay friends and stuff like that and the trade and stuff that you're used to having or whatever your other trans sisters they're going to be more supportive of you staying in your transition your family on the other hand or you know whatever may have the opposite opinion and it may cause a you know da da da, da. so you just kind of want to stay to yourself or whatever and kind of figure it out on yourself spend time with yourself strip yourself of everything and see how you are more naturally see your mannerisms see your thoughts see calculate more stuff than just your physical appearance like oh you may look like such and such because a lot of times that's what we base our transitions on and different things like that and that's i've learned that that's not the case either so strip yourself of it all and get down to your natural form and see how you conduct and how you carry yourself um would be good for me because we use so many props so many surgeries so many things within a transition to make us who we are when sometimes it really feel good to strip yourself down to the bare minimum to see who you are what you are and how you'll react you know what i mean like so that that's just my advice and just realize that we all go through journeys and life is like a never ending transition of us trying to get to our best and better selves. So if you have to take a step back, sort of say, or whatever, I still call it a step forward in your growth, because if you are born male and then you transition a woman and you go back to female, not only are you different i don't feel like it's going backwards because you can't go back in time so you can't undo anything it's like you almost got better like me i i after my transitions i feel more confident than i did initially before i had any transition at all so it was like a growth process we really have to learn how to start speaking positivity into our lives and manifesting it because it's what we speak and how we see ourselves that the world then see us after that like and i feel like i've mastered that and now that i'm in my best form and my most natural form it comes the easiest i just want to send hope out there for everybody if you're in your transition and you're happy and that's how you feel you're meant to be i wish the best to you if you do have second thoughts and different things like that or whatever 
Still feel equal and know that nothing is not wrong with you. Don't let anybody put that on you, no matter who you are. And let's just be comfortable and worry about ourselves. It goes for everybody. I wish everybody stopped worrying about what the next person is doing. Let's all worry about ourselves and how we can feel the best connection to God and to the universe and make the best out of our lives. Like Let's not go on looks and be vain or go on what the flesh wants so much. It's like you got to be a good person and you got to be a productive person. We don't have a lot of time here on this earth as we're seeing today. Let's make the most out of it. Let's be happy. Let's be proud of the significance that we have in the world. Each voice is different and specially unique. God created everything different. Your story, your journey, your pain is a gift and may bless somebody else. We all can do a lot in this world. You know, do something and love yourself.